you need to get anything out of your system or take a few days break, then you should go and do it because I am going to be kicking your ass for the next year. You know, when Lisa, she would said, go to Mexico, celebrate the opening. When you come back, I'm going to the Bahamas and you guys can take care of stuff. So then we get back from Mexico, I turn the TV on and Entertainment Tonight is on. Uh, tell them where you've been. Well. Tell them where you've been. A little yeah, casual yes, trip to Mexico. It was a non-refundable trip we had to go. Yes. That's not fair what she did. That was, that was a little bit kind of throwing them under the bus. And this is coming from me, not them. That was kind of, that was shitty what she did. Yeah, I love when Lisa busts my balls. Almost every single time I love it. I soak it up, it's like part of our dynamic. But that was one time it really rubbed me the wrong way. I was not happy about that. It was that. a little dirty. But all, all, like 95% of the time, I love it when she busts my balls. But that was just, yeah, I, 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 I was upset about that. Because she basically said to go, yeah. and then you, and they're like, are you sure? Are you, sh they didn't say like, okay, we're, are you sure this is good? What really bothered me about that interview when Lisa said that is we asked her numerous times and made it very clear that we are only going to Mexico with your blessing. And it was even brought up by her. Go do that. And for her to say that, it was kind of like, it, it was, uh, it felt very betraying. And look, I understand, you know, Schwartz and I have a reputation of being, you know, irresponsible or, or debaucherous, but, you know, we've really worked hard and really tried to bring ourselves up to that next level and, and made Tom Tom a major priority in our lives to the point where his relationship is getting neglected, my relationship is getting neglected. And it's just, it, it, I know Lisa thinks it's like a shtick where she just like hassles us. And, I, and I've been around friends where you heckle them. Like I have heckled Jax and I'm sure sometimes it gets old to him. And, and I realize it's a shtick that we do, but that shtick makes us look bad. And I'm kind of over it. I bust my ass, I'm a hard worker. I think that needs to be something that she really sort of appreciates and respects. Schwartz, tell me about romancing Katie. Did he tell you the one time that he watched Two and a Half Men during sex? <laughs> Come on. He looked he's over, like, he looked over, like, he looked he, over at the TV, he started watching TV when, what did he say when Katie was on top of you? And he said he started watching TV and Katie found out that you're watching TV. During sex. <laughs> well, she was more, she had been That's drinking. That's something I would do. I was I more so sober and she was more, you know. Anyways, I was kind of just like, I it was a good episode. Done that. It was what the, it was the Charlie it? Sheen, when Charlie Sheen was still on. No offense to Ashton Kutcher, I love him too, but I liked it more when Charlie Sheen was on there and I got caught up in an episode. And eventually she, she set me straight though. <laughs> Actually, we've been, we've kicked it up a notch in the romance department. You guys been touching peepees a lot? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Poor Katie has to initiate all the time. I feel so bad. He's a little prude. No, I'm not prude. I love it. He's I just, a little prude. I'm not good at initiating. Don't let that. Don't let that. That shirt fool you. <laughs> He's a fucking prude. Come on, I'm not a prude at all. You got a flex? I'm a very generous lover. <laughs> uh, I know I'm flexing. <laughs> so you guys don't do traditional romance, is what it no, sounds like. No, we don't. <laughs> I mean, Saucy yeah. came on our honeymoon, for God's sake. It's like, we like to make our own rules. We like to, we, I don't know, we, I, we kind of cringe at a lot of things. So what makes a bed full of snacks romantic to you and Schwartzy? I'm the only one that calls him Schwartzy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, are you talking about the, the, yes. the yeah, can you just trail, tell them? Of, trail of what? <laughs> Tears. What the hell is this? That's romantic. <laughs> For so us it is. So you talk about they were all open, it was like a mess. No, 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 no. like oh. a little pack, like, like, oh, oh I yeah, see. just okay. like a little... I was envisaging like <laughs> the things, like bags of chips open all the way. Where'd you get the idea of like all the candy? Was it very well, well, I wanted, I wanted to do a fun vow uh, renewal. That was a nod to the proposal with the violin. And it didn't really work out exactly how we imagined it, but... Meow. <laughs> I do, I just... Meow. I, I say meow so many times. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. We do this thing sometimes where he'll go like, meow, 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 meow. And I'll go, meow, meow. So I don't think of anything of it. But then he starts doing that and I start doing it back to him. But then out of the bathroom in our hotel room comes a violinist. <laughs> oh my God. A violinist? This poor yeah. woman, this poor woman has been hiding in the shower. This it's is so not scary. what romance is based on. Yeah, but I guess you gotta be proud of us. Meow, meow. That. <laughs> oh lordy. Did you guys get intimate that night? 
Here's the thing. At any given minute, I was about to sh in my pants, so. <laughs> oh, Katie, for <laughs> God's sake, that's I'm just so... way too much information. We wanted to, and we had every intention of doing so, but we were so tired and hung over from three days of just nonstop vacay mode, drinking, eating, minimal sleep. We just both passed out. But it was in a beautiful embrace. We, we made out a little. Tell me you guys go through lulls. Sex? Yeah, yeah, of course we do. I don't like when Katie belittles my penis. It's nice. <laughs> it's a classic dick, by the way. It's a very nice. Classic <laughs> dick. What does he mean by classic dick? OK, well, Tom Tom was being funny because Can Sam, I excuse myself? I did not want to Sandoval, know about wait, Sandoval decided penis to get size. In. No, I actually don't want to know. Sandoval decided to get I'm in. I'm going to go. You can the girls, talk to Puffy. The girls had oh, our, and then they had our bottoms on. You can talk on. to Puffy about you know, okay, Schwartz's puppy. penis size. The girls size. had the bottoms and on. And then I'll, I'll come back in when you don't finish. Don't go far. Schwartz was saying he wouldn't get in because he's worried someone's going to come and bite his penis off. And I was like, what, like you have a huge like pee? <laughs> I've seen a lot of flaccid penises before. They're not like dangling out there in the, the world. And then George was like, what? I have a classic penis. So I, like, I didn't say you had a small penis. I'm just saying it's not like you have like, you're not like. So he was saying like, <laughs> you're basically saying it's not an elephant trunk. <laughs> I like my dick. It's not anything to write home about, but he's done, he's d I've done well with him. I like him. He's saved some lives. He's my friend. And he's, you know, he let me down a few times, but for the most part, he's been solid. I think they all have. He's, yeah. Talk about how your dick doesn't work either, though. Tell your penis is a song. Does Schwartz's dick work better this season? Yeah. I'll let you in on a secret. His dick has always worked <laughs> fantastically. <laughs> when I said that, we were in an argument. I think I was just kind of like, you know, it was a dig. It was a dig, it was a low blow. It was me trying to, like, that was a hell of a low blow to a man in his prime in front of 137 prime. countries. But I do agree with spreading the word about your man, making you know everyone think that it's a small one and it doesn't work is probably beneficial to a marriage. Yeah, heck yeah, you I'm gonna what? do that. Hindsight. Jackson's dick don't work, y'all. <laughs> yeah, he's got a really tiny penis. I'll right? see there. <laughs> exactly. Hi, it's Jackson from Vanderpump Rules. Wait, what's after that part? Finish the episode, subscribe, watch more. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Click here to click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos of Vanderpump Rules.